Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Avorian. In this episode of Avorian, it's going to be a lot of jumping around because I'm doing Operation Exodus. Operation Exodus is one of the missions that is going to lead you to a legendary upgrade, but it's a lot of jumping around because what Operation Exodus is, is pretty much a treasure hunt. You need to figure out a couple of locations of beacons and then you're going to get another beacon and another one and another one and another one and another one. And eventually, you're most likely going to end up somewhere on the outer rim of the universe. So I made a modification to the uh, provinces, oh, sorry, to the sovereign that you see over here. And she now has the upgrade that I recently acquired from Mr. Swox, which allows me to jump faster with a better cooldown and also jump farther. Still, it's going to be a lot of jumping this episode. Now, once I have this one, it's going to take a few more, uh, well, maybe two more episodes to get the rest of the upgrades. One might be doable this upgrade or this episode, because it really only requires that I uh, mush a couple of legendaries together and they're going to form, or not so much legendaries, but uh, the red ones, the exotics, and they're going to spit out another legendary. All right, a new location in Operation Exodus. Now the next stop is over there, which again is about two jumps away. Unfortunately, the Sovereign doesn't really have too many slots left to install additional jump cores. Normally, that's what I would do, uh, just to make sure that the journey is a bit more comfortable. I could try and adjust some of the blocks of the crew quarters because she has these really big crew quarters over here. But I'm not sure how much it actually fills out the hull. I think it's not that bad. If I remove it, I have 323, so that is doable. The thing is, it's gonna get really expensive if I want to replace that with a big jump core made out of, uh, let's say, trinium. If I wanna install this as a hyperspace core, I'm gonna need 169,000 trinium. If I do it with Xanian, it's going to be uh, 1.9 million and 177,000. And the game doesn't actually tell me how much hyperspace reach I get. Yeah, right. Uh, that just gave me seven sectors. A hyperspace reach of just seven sectors. So, no, I don't think that that's worth that amount of Xanian. We're just going to have to keep jumping around and eventually get to that particular upgrade. Now, seeing as this is not a very interesting mission, I'm going to pause the recording. I just wanted to let you know that I am on Operation Exodus and that it is a long quest. It's just going to take jumps and jumps and jumps and jumps. And I think it's one of the most boring and most grindy events in the game. So I'll pause it here. And when we get close to the actual objective, I will speak to you then. Right. Sometimes you accidentally stumble across somebody who you really don't want to see, or rather, who doesn't really want to see you. I was still jumping around to complete Operation Exodus when I encountered Boss Swax the Fourth, And, um, well, I don't mind actually running into him, because it's another legendary. Uh, you can pay me seven million, excuse me. I'll kill you. Um, Boss Swox is the guy who I already encountered, and I accident or I intentionally left the roadster out on the far eastern flank to make sure that I could get this guy again and get another one of his legendary upgrades. Um, this guy is such a pushover, especially for a ship like Sovereign, that I really just don't care. Sure, I'll take a torpedo or two, and I might take some shield damage, but he just gifted me another legendary upgrade. So that was more of a drive-by killing than anything that actually ever posed a serious threat. You're really not supposed to encounter this guy this late into the campaign. Or this late into your own progress. And, uh, well, he tried. <laughs> His funeral. Now I am actually getting a little closer to Operation Exodus. I've already made it to the, uh, the outer reaches over here. And, hold on, why is the jump... Uh, the jump time is just a little higher than usual. Because I've been jumping around a fair bit. 
So we're getting closer to Operation Exodus, and with that, and the operate the uh, thing I got from Swax, I can supposedly add, let's say, this one and maybe another exotic upgrade with the one that I got from Swax, which is another armed turret slots plus ten, and spit out that other legendary that I need. In the meanwhile, the mines have been busy. Twenty-one million. The money is coming in really nicely. And sure enough, we still have a couple of salvagers which are also bringing in additional turrets here and there. So overall progress, I'd say, is going quite well. Alright, after many, many, many jumps, we are finally at the location where I find Operation Exodus. The situation over here is that there are a couple of wrecked ancient gates. There's one here. There's another one there. And more importantly, I need to be talking to... Let's see where they are. Uh, where's Operation Exodus? I am where I'm supposed to be. But normally, there's somebody here to greet you. There's somebody here to talk to. I'm not seeing anybody. Oh, here. Communication beacon. Establish connection. Static noise. Is this working? What? Hello? Who's this? Are you from Operation Exodus? Operation Exodus? Yes. Well, and no. Okay. We never took part in Operation Exodus ourselves. It was our ancestors who did it. Your ancestors? Yes, the Exodus took part or took place more than a hundred years ago. So who are you? We're the descendants of the Hati. Our ancestors used to live near the center of the galaxy. What happened? A few hundred years back, an alien species appeared in the center of the galaxy, the Zotan. We knew aliens. Since the great rise of technology 600 years back, everybody knew how to build and use spaceships. This is how we uh, all colonized space in the first place. But the Zotan were difficult, or different, cold, careless. They didn't care for anybody. They didn't even answer our attempts to communicate. They just appeared, and it seemed like they didn't care about anything at all. And then they started harvesting. They ate away everything. Asteroids, ships. Some say that they even consume entire planets. After a great battle, we realized that we didn't stand a chance. They were not unbeatable. We did manage to win several battles. But they just kept pouring out of the center. More and more of them. In the end, it didn't matter. They would just overrun us, as they had way more resources. The only thing that was left for us to do was to flee. So we started Operation Exodus. And now we live here. Why though? We were, we were disorganized, demoralized and weak. Our best guess is that a lot of people in the outer sectors here knew that. And a large convoy like ours was not exactly easy to hide. We were constantly attacked. They wanted our technology. Our ships, our weapons. For a long time we managed to fight them back, but at some point we couldn't fight any longer and we were overwhelmed. Our hyperspace drives were destroyed, and now we're stuck here. And now we live here. Um, do you know how to beat the Zotan? The Zotan ships are no more special than ours or yours. They're strong, but you can defeat them in combat. The main problem is that there's just so many of them. You have to stop them from calling in reinforcements. We don't know how to do that, or where they're coming from, but when our ancestors were fighting them, they managed to get their hands on some of their technology. Here, you can have some of it, if you want. It's worthless to us anyway. We dumped one of the artifacts from a wreckage near you. Have a look around, and there it is. The legendary artifact, the, the number one. And now we live here. All right, well, that's actually all that I need from them. So I have to go, uh, and I have to go jump. <laughs> A lot. Because the Sovereign ended up all the way over there. And the Seven is all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to the Seven. And have the Sovereign just give... Well, give the Sovereign a lot of orders to tell it to jump back. Alright. Ship in your sector is calling for help. Really? Alright, fine. We'll tend to this for a second. These guys apparently don't quite know that they shouldn't start attacking uh, lowly traders in my area. 
Two of them dead. Your shields are fine. Somebody was complaining, by the way, in the last episode's comment section, saying, I don't understand why you turn your ship. You have turrets. Well, yeah, but the turrets don't turn particularly quickly. The ship, most of the time, actually seems a little easier to turn around than the turrets. So that's why I always try to turn the whole ship. And it happens automatically. If I move my cursor to the right, then the ship turns with it. Move the cursor to the left, ship turns with it. It's just the way that the game works. And sure, there's probably a way to turn it off. And yes, maybe the turrets do work. And maybe they do have enough clearance. But at this point, I don't really care. The 7 is just maneuverable enough for this. Anyway, I was going to tell the Sovereign to come back here. She has a pretty impressive jump range. But it's still going to take her uh, probably the better part of the episode to jump all the way over here. Maybe I can use that wormhole here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sector isn't loaded into memory. Go on. There we go. Alright, jump to here. And then use the wormhole. That's going to save me quite a few jumps. Uh, I don't quite know where that one leads. I do know where this one leads. And that is... No, actually, I don't. Keep jumping. She has to do about 15 jumps before she's getting closer to my current position with the 7. So, she's going to get here. It's just going to take a while. Alright, in that time, what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to go visit a few equipment docks. Because at the equipment docks, I can get a few more items and then use a research depot to refine those, or rather upgrade them. And finally, turn that into yet another legendary upgrade. Alright, we have a research station in the sector. That's great. Equipment dock. I'll probably just end up buying all their equipment because I'm sitting on 22 million, so I have more than enough to buy their equipment and then toss it into the research station. Trade equipment. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take all of it. And that's about 800k, is what it cost me. Sell the trash. And then off to the research station. Let's see, did I happen to have the four again? No, I don't need to build a ship. That's the mission that says I am looking for delivery of Zotan artifacts. It looks like there aren't that many missions for pickup here. No. Alright, scratch that then. We'll just continue on as is. Silicon mine sold 671 silicon for 617,000. Well done. Hold on, do I have a mining system installed? Oh yeah, I do. I was wondering why I was lighting up those asteroids. Yeah, right, that's from a couple of episodes ago when I was just gallivanting around the galaxy and seeing what the wrecks had in them. Alright, time for some research. I don't care as long as it gets another tier. I just need exotics. I know I should probably be a bit more careful with these, but at the moment I just want to try and speed things along because the game is starting to feel a bit like a grind. And I get that that's part of Avorian to some extent. Because you need the legendary upgrades and the game will make you work for those. However, there's 
always a fine balance between when does something get grindy and when does something become fun. And if you're going to the wrong side of that equation, then stuff ends up not being fun and you're just going to end up with frustration. Right, now I have a shield reinforcer, uh, an internal defense system that I'll probably not use. One of these and no, not that one. I don't want to do the operation again. Um, which one was it? Yeah, that's the one from Swox. Shit. It didn't go through? Oh, hold on. Maybe I need to do a couple of legendaries together. Yeah, I just checked and it turns out that that's it. I need to be mushing legendaries together. So one, two, three, and that one. Although I'm not sure if I have a spare one. Hold on. No, it turns out I do not have a spare one of that. Uh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Because it means I'm going to have to potentially get more of these things. Which might not be too easy. Or at least, it's well, it's relatively easy. It's just going to take a bit of time. Alright, let's first try to get another red one. One, two, three, four, five. There, uh, sorry, uh, a legendary. One, two, three, four. Bingo. That's the one that I was looking for. Another legendary upgrade has been acquired. That means that I only need one more. And that's going to take a bit of looking around. Because the one that I still need to find is the one from the mad scientists. Um, I'm not even sure if there is a quest for it. No, there isn't. The thing that I'm looking for are satellites from the uh, the mad scientist who has developed some sort of very expensive lightning weapon. And for some reason... Oh, hold on, is that one? Yep. He drops these energy research satellites in various sectors. The only thing I need to do is just blow up a few of them and that will prompt a response from him. He doesn't like you blowing up his satellites. Now all of this is what I have uh, read from the wiki and talked about with some other players. I've never actually done this quest, so it's a bit new for me. I just know that I need to blow these things up. There we go. A message was broadcast from the destroyed satellite. It appears to be some kind of emergency signal. So I need to find a few more. I'm not sure if the 7 is the best ship to do that with though. Because sure enough, she can do it, but her jump rate is not fantastic. Fifteen seconds. They are hiding in these unknown hidden mass signatures. So it's just going to be looking around a bit. Where's the Sovereign at this point? Is that her? No. Where is the Seven? Sorry, the Sovereign. Oh, she's already here. Damn, she's a fast ship. It might in fact be easier to use the Sovereign for this quest, because she can jump a hell of a lot faster than I can. I recharge in about 50 seconds and she does it in 30, 35. I just need to make sure that I'm not too far away from the seven provinces so that I can call her in the moment that I need her. Oh, hold on, here's another one. In that case, I want the 7 a bit closer than where she is now. Because if this does end up triggering the guy, then I might need the 7. First test run on over... Uh, sorry, first tests run on overloaded lightning guns are very promising. With these new modified lightning guns, we'll be able to reach unimaginable amounts of power. Few issues remain, the biggest being that we haven't found a way to penetrate non-conductors such as stone yet. And that is the weakness of said weapons. Oh shit, he's here. Oh no. Uh, aha, this time we caught you red-handed. You're the one who's been destroying and stealing our equipment. What equipment? All I see is junk. No, who are you? We're members of the MAD Science Association. 
Our latest research of Zotan energy systems has been groundbreaking. Okay. We're clearly... Sorry, you are clearly not capable of any true scientific enlightenment. Now, I'm looking at this ship and I'm seeing 450,000 Omicrons of firepower. Uh, that's a lot of gunning. That's a lot of firepower. We don't need scavenger scum like you around here. In fact, we're pretty sure the galaxy will be better off without you. Are you looking for the true power of pure energy? We're going to show you what the true potential, what the potential of true energy is like. Get ready to be melted. Um, holy shit. Wow. That took all of three seconds? Ish? Sweet Jesus. Now, I am not exactly sure if this would have been any better or worse if I'd been in the Seven Provinces. Because the Seven... Um, she does have more shields, but at the same time, she doesn't have any stone armor either. First, let's uh, get... Yeah, let's jump to the Seven. And start armoring this ship up with stone. Because those lightning guns do not do much against stone. So I will need... Reflector here. Stone. Super rich stone. Uh, that's collision damage reduction. Immunity to electricity weapons. High durability. Very high mass. So this ship is going to get armored and severely armored at that. Trying to get the corners first. We got a corner two over here. Oh, not that one. This one. That's another corner one. This is a corner three. Corner two. Directional thruster. No. I don't want to pull a directional thruster up out of stone. I think I'm going to go with a small layer up here. It intersects with another block. Oh, right. There's a seaways up there. That's the problem. It overlaps too much with another block. Just make it a bit longer. We'll be able to make this fit. Now, all of this will make the 7 a lot less maneuverable. I recognize that, but I would rather have her less maneuverable than dead at this point. Let's just add a flat layer on top of these things. Uh, layer on the side here. When I'm done with this ship, it'll be a flying asteroid. And I know that I'm, at this point, not even trying anymore to uh, make this thing look pretty. It's not really what I'm going for. I just want to try and survive that encounter. That might be a bit too much. There. And I really hope that the scientist is still there. I'm also going to armor up the belly of the ship. I can use the stone edges for that. These are stone corner ones. That's a stone corner one. This is a stone corner two. Trinium edge. Stone edge. Let me guess. There's a turret up there somewhere. Here. That's a bit long. That's better. Hold on. Oh right, I never fixed I never finished up with the belly of the ship. That's why it's not there. Now this guy is using only lightning weapons as far as I know, which makes him very powerful. 
but also very susceptible to just being completely counteracted by stone. Or at least that's my uh, theory on it. I won't be using any shuttles today, so let's just go for a full wall here. Okay. Let's see if the 7 can handle this. She now handles like an actual brick, but at least she's still shooting. What sort of objective do we have? Do we know where he is? Is he still there? Let's check. He is, in fact, not here. Alright, in that case, we're gonna have to go looking for him again. But if I do that in a massively up-armored sovereign, or uh, seven provinces, no, yeah, seven provinces, it's gonna take 132 seconds to make a single jump. Okay, uh, where's Voyager? Voyager, let's switch to you. Oh, you're here. You need to jump south one sector. Alright, where's the repair dock? Because I want my Sovereign back. Fortunately, the Sovereign wasn't really carrying anything in her cargo bay, except for a bit of... What was it? I think scraps here and there. So, I didn't really lose anything with it. But I definitely want that ship back. Repair dock. Reconstruct a ship. Sovereign. Sovereign reconstructed and weapons have been re-added to her. Welcome back. Repair dock. I need another token. 2.44 million. Done. I still really admire the beauty of this ship. I really, really like her. But armoring this ship up would be a nightmare, because it has so many different layers. So that's not something that's going to happen. It's going to have to be the Seven. As she's really the only ship that I can currently rely on. Or at least more or less expect to have any kind of chance. Now this is likely going to take a couple more jumps before I find another one of those asteroids that I can just or not asteroids, satellites that I can destroy. So I'm going to pause the recording again and when I found the guy again, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I found another energy satellite. The uh, formerly beautiful ship, or at least <laughs> sort of maneuverable ship that was the Seven Provinces. The now turned asteroid Seven Provinces is going to have to take up against the energy lab. The stats of this ship. I have 1.73 million shields, which is about three times what the other ship had. The Sovereign. I also have 592,000 shield or uh, hull hit points. As you can see, yaw and pitch are dreadful. That's because there is so much stone attached to the hull. I hope that destroying this satellite is going to prompt another encounter and that I can survive that. Oh, really? It didn't prompt the guy? Am I going to have to hunt him down again? All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll just have to go look for a couple more satellites. All right. Another one found. Another attempt. And once again, no joy. Oh, this is getting annoying. Please let me find this guy. Because it's taking a long time. And I just want to get the fight over so I can finally get beyond the barrier and start actually getting to the Avorian tier. Why does this have to take so long? Okay then, time for the next attempt. Another energy research satellite has been detected. This is probably the third one I've destroyed after the initial encounter. So I wonder if this is going to prompt the guy to actually show up again. Uh, 
And it has not, unfortunately. All right, on to the next one. Time for the next attempt. I found another one of the satellites. Again, 16 clicks out. Oh, by the way, the metal plates factory has started to work. So apparently that's no longer a hazard sector. Uh, considering it was two hours and something when the hazard sector got announced at the last episode. That should give you some clue about how long I've been trying to find this guy. And no, I don't use the provinces to jump around. I use the sovereign. And I call in the provinces when I have found one of these asteroids. Or sorry, satellites. And then jump into the seven and get the sovereign to back off. Yes, there you are. All I can see is junk. Alright, let's see if I can survive this encounter now. He has no shields, by the way. He... What? The one moment he blows my ship in half in two seconds. And the next moment he doesn't even make an effort? Really? That's what I've spent about 20-25 minutes scouting around for? He didn't even try. Well, that was exceptionally uh, exceptionally disappointing, I shall say. Exceptionally disappointing. Right, at least now I have all the upgrades. Some of them are attached to ships, some of them are not. So I'm going to have to make sure that every single one is going to be on a different ship and close to a different asteroid. And I think I know where it is. I think it's here. No, it's not. I know I encountered it at some point. The area where I could jump to... Or where I could open up the gates towards the middle. Where that is now, though, I don't know. So that's going to be the next portion of randomly jumping around and hoping that I find something. This is really turning into a hell of a boring episode for me to record, unfortunately. Alright, this is probably going to take um, a bit more discovery. I'm going to once again pause the recording and I will catch you in a bit. Okay, finally I have found what I was looking for. In this sector, I can find eight asteroids. These eight asteroids have various numbers ranging from 1 to 8. A ship apparently needs to be within 1.5 kilometers of one of these things with the right item. So the right legendary upgrade. And it just has to be parked there. When it's parked, the game will then allow me... Well, once they're all parked, so I'm going to need 8 ships to do this. To open up the gate. And here, you can already see right here on the edge of it that um, this uh, item, this artifact, is now in position. Unfortunately, the Sovereign has several. So I'm going to have to take off these things from the Sovereign. Um, first off, I'm going to name this thing as the uh, Gateway. Slash Core. That's going to make it a little easier to spot. I'll also have to bring the 7 back to its previous glory. So that is a way where... Or at least a state where she does not come with a ton of armor. So let's start taking off some of that armor. Um, I tacked on a whole bunch on the sides. Maybe it's easier to just use a safe to design. Ship auto saves. Let's see, what design did I have for her previously? This is... All sorts of different designs. Different ships, that's a Defiant. I have a lot of different Defiants. Let's see, Enterprise. Roadster versions, Seven Provinces versions. Version 31, 36, 41, 40, 50, 60. Here. This is the 72 version. I think I need to go back to the 71 version, because that's where she didn't have all that stone on her. Apply the design. There we go. Stone removed, and the ship's good as new. She also, unfortunately, kicked off all of her turrets. 
So I'll just have to reapply those. And also the defensive systems, which was a point defense laser system. Must be built on a turret block of Xanian or better. All right, over there then. And I didn't have another one. Chain gun, triple chain gun defense, point defense laser system. Yeah, you too. This is Xanian. What? Oh, not enough armed turret slots. Right. Yeah, I can only fit one. Okay, that's manageable. Let's see. One, 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 one. Now, which items am I going to put on the ship? Because I'll need a couple of her legendary upgrades. So I'm going to have to get a bit picky. First up, I need an equipment dock. This should also severely limit the amount of time that I have to wait before the jump drive cools down. Which is a really comfortable improvement. Right, equipment dock. Time to take a so to yeah. time to take off some of the upgrades. So I'm also gonna have to build eight ships. Uh, potentially with captains, and uh, maybe ships that are gonna be useful later. Because if I just make blocks, so single item ships which are just cubes, then I'm not going to be able to take off all the legendary upgrades without bringing the ship back to a depot. Um, which one do I not need on this ship? This one. The AI one. And this one I can also go without. Although I do have a couple of... a bit of overlap. I have some doubles. But I did waste another one, not too long ago. Hmm. Alright, so the provinces is going to have number 8. Let's see, is anybody selling captains around here? I'm going to need a lot of them. Now you have one. Probably going to need another six captains so that I don't have to manually get everybody home. But I can just get the ships to make their way towards an equipment dock on autopilot, if you will. The research dock also has another one. That's very useful. So, this is finally going to be the first time that I actually crossed the barrier. Never done that before. Big first. I do hope that I have enough slots. Yeah, I still have enough turret slots. All right. I was worried there for a sec that I was going to not have enough turret slots to use all my chain guns. Oh, and uh, this is undefensive. That's a cargo hauler. What does the shipyard have? No captains. This one also has a captain. That's great. Uh, Voyager can also make her way over there. She already has a captain. That's the satellites to here. There is another Starfleet ship that I want to add into the game. I already have the blueprint for her. And that's the Defiant. Hire the crew. This one didn't have any... This one dis does have another one, the gas collector. How many captains do I have on this ship? Four. Um, I have the Sovereign, the Seven Provinces, and the Voyager. That's three ships. So after this one, I'm probably going to need one more captain. Anybody have a captain? is where I just was on the other side of the sector. Oh yeah, 
You have another captain, the Gas Collector S. Excellent. Alright, finally. Boosting over there. Next step is going to be to get the ships built. Maybe assign a few templates. It could be a roadster. It could be the Defiant. Uh, maybe I'm going to build another miner or something like that so that I can use that later. And then get all the ships in their correct positions. And then we can finally cross the barrier. I'm actually quite lucky getting all of these captains here. Sometimes you can get really unlucky with it. Oh shit, did I lose all my fighters? Oh crap, I lost my fighters somewhere. I dropped them off at some point. When I was <clears throat> fighting that guy. Here, 22 lost fighters. That's where I need to go with 7. Those are all my salvaging fighters. Uh, gentlemen, if you could all return to the ship. Now, there is another ship that needs to be moving, and it's the Sovereign. The Sovereign also has a visit an equipment dock. And make sure that she takes off some of her upgrades, because she's also sporting more than one. Alright, all salvaging fighters back. Perfect. Set a course. Or rather, don't, because it's going to take a while. Um, switch to here. Voyager. Voyager is not sporting any legendary, is she? No. Not any of the elites, anyway. Uh, yeah, I can temporarily install this one. So you're going to have to move to position 5. Now, I know that, um, at least from the wiki, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a spawn of the Zotan defensive something. Shit, speaking of. This is not what I was going for. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them here, but at least they're not hostile yet. Um, anyway, the ships that are here will have to be defended. If they're not, then they're probably going to get destroyed pretty quickly. Alright, this one's lit up. Excellent. Exit into the drone. I know I'll not be able to actually get the crew that I need for a ship, but that's alright. Found a ship. 500 trinium founding cost. That's perfectly acceptable. Build. Safe designs. Um, yeah, this was one of my own designs, or at least... It was an upgrade over the design from the workshop. I could just also get another Sovereign, because I know they're fairly well protected. Now yeah, let's do that. No, that's not, no, 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 let's copy the clipboard. That's adding another one. Apply one. Yes. And that is... Yeah, that's my version of the Sovereign. Okay. We have a new ship for the fleet. Except that she's not called Defiant. Fuck's sake, I'm getting attacked. That's a, just a brand new ship, damn you. Cut that out. And she cannot defend herself either. This is not what I was going... Jesus, she's almost destroyed. Oh no. Yeah, she's fucked. Oh. Should have handled this one different. Okay. I need to get better weapons for this ship. Or rather, I just need to GTFO. Because Voyager is not a combat ship. And she's getting torn to pieces by these Zotan ships. Get out. Right, so that went well. Voyager is going to have to get repaired. Sovereign is going to have to switch out some upgrades. And where's the 7? 
Because I just need the seven to clear up those guys. Where the hell is the seventh? Adventure, Mars Bar Ninja, Seven Provinces. Here you are. Right, so I should be able to repair this thing now. Yep, all fixed. Time to switch to the Sovereign. Okay, this Sovereign. She currently has three legendaries installed. And I'll need to reduce that to one. Where's the equipment dock? Here. It's not too far. Really? Try me. Try me. One down. They're out of range. That's one thing that I still want to upgrade about the chain guns because they're so short ranged. I can barely get this guy. Come on. Keep shredding. He's making a break for it. And he's not getting one. Come here. Or are you closer? No, I think you're the closest ship. Down. Oh, you're one of those jump around things. <laughs> the moment they get hit, they start jumping. Like that. Fine, I'll deal with you in a second. First to get rid of these other guys. I think, by the way, they're using weaponry, which is going right through my shields. Because the hull is starting to take damage. And for the provinces, that is really not normal. No, he's going to get away. Charge him down. Come here. You know it's over. Or rather, it'll be over. Oh, he's getting away with it. Urgent delivery failed. <clears throat> so be it. Gotcha. Alright. That leaves, what? Three Zotan ships. They still got to keep the mechanics busy repairing the hull again. Destroyed. Next one. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> Come here, stop jumping. Stop it. Thank you. Well, that didn't last long. Dodge this. So he does. <laughs> the thing jumps when he takes so much as a single scratch of damage. So even the point defense system, which is trying to engage him, is making the ship jump. Go on. He's at a 14%. 2%. Finally. They are such annoying enemies to fight. And that must be the last ship then. Yeah, last Zotan Corvette. Last man standing, buddy. There. 
Now the sector is relatively safe. Where are those asteroids, though? They're not showing up on the minimap. Or at least they're not listed as a ship that I can select. So I'm just tabbing through all the different wreckages trying to find one of those asteroids. Fifty clicks out. Not surprised. I did travel quite a bit while getting rid of those ships. Eighty clicks. There. But I'm not sure if this is a Zotan ship that I destroyed. This could be something entirely different. Um, right, I need to repair the ship that's the new Sovereign. Or at least the new Sovereign design. She's currently called Defiant, but that's not going to be her working title. Uh, then I need to get another couple of ships built. Which I can do with the provinces. Or at least the drone from the provinces, that is and just start attaching their upgrades to them. The provinces is carrying upgrade number eight. So she needs to be over there in a while. Voyager can come back in. And I was still not quite done with getting the upgrades off of the, sev or of the Sovereign because I got interrupted. Now I know that I have the... Oh, there's the wreckage, by the way. Oh shit, she didn't have a salvaging license, did she? I hope she did, but I'm not sure. Oh dear. Let's have a closer look with that ship. Cash? Seven. I wanted to look at that because I know that building a few ships could get pricey. Hmm. That is a sore sight. Poor ship. Look at that. All shot up. Looks like they tore a couple of big, really big holes in the hull there. So that's what a dead Sovereign class looks like, apparently. Not something I want to see again. Right. Build a new ship. Mm. This should be enough clearance. Build ship. Defiant. Try again. You already have a ship called Defiant. Well, had. Not quite have. Right, this is where I was when I got interrupted. I'm sorry about all the jumping and all the... The semi-grumpy commentary today, but it's just... A, it's an annoying bit of work. All of these different jumps and actions that you have to take. Now, Sovereign's jump range is severely limited. Or at least a hell of a lot less. Um, repair dock. Yeah, at least I can reconstruct her. There she is. Okay, this is not Defiant. I'm going to call her Enterprise. Because the uh, Enterprise E officially was a Sovereign class. Uh, she's missing all sorts of crew, naturally. And she has her hull damaged. How much crew do I need? Yeah, there was one upgrade that I made. Let's get that thing repaired. One thing that I did when I was waiting for all the different jumps was to go into the crew quarters and this large thing over here, I turned into a shield gen. 
but apparently I don't have enough Zan or Trinium for it. If I build it out of Zanian, I'm going to get 488,000, so 422,000 shields. And that's not too bad. I can get behind that. My crew. All of these, and all of these. Uh, yes to a captain. Let's just see, also assign everybody. Still need a transporter block. Or no, actually not a transporter block, but a transporter system. And I do have another one of those. Her jump range is decent. Let's start with getting the Sovereign over there. Voyager's already over there. Uh, yeah, so now I can go as well. But I don't have to do that manually. I can just let the ship do that. Switch to Voyager. Voyager has the upgrade numbered... 5. 8... Two, three, four, five. And maybe I should just use the uh, seven provinces to salvage the remains of that wreckage. Because I might as well. Enterprise E. Jump. 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 And I know that some of these ships are unarmed, uh, especially the E is unarmed, and that's okay. Alright, moving up again. The Sovereign has arrived. Now I'm actually going to build the Defiant. Ship design, safe designs... Um Let's see, where did I have the designs that I changed about the Defiant? Because I took the workshop designs and I changed them a little. There's Voyager, there's the Intrepid. Oh, sorry, the Sovereign. The Adjusted Sovereign, that is. This is an older version of Defiant. I usually call my ships Defiant as well. Here we go. Defiant 167. Apply. Hello, Defiant. Shielding, 95,000. This is a smaller escort ship. It doesn't really have any sort of staying power. It's not required either. I just need her to hold one of the legendary upgrades. Uh, you can get number one. And that's... Over there somewhere? Yeah. First, though, I will need a captain from this ship. I don't need too much more crew, I think. Although it would be handy to have some. Let's see, can I train? Uh, not trained. Yeah, I still have a whole bunch of untrained crew. Let's just transfer 50 over. And one captain. Assign all the crew. Now the ship is a hell of a lot more maneuverable. Alright, you're gonna sit by number one over there. Now my plan is to make sure that all the ships are in position and when they are, open up that wormhole. By the time that that happens, I'll make sure that um, I'm in the seven and that I can immediately start wiping out whatever comes out of that wormhole because it's supposed to be some sort of boss fight and all other ships are going to leave just as quickly as they can. Sovereign. You have upgrade number... Three. Then that's your asteroid right there. And lit up. Okay, good. Next up, Enterprise E. The Enterprise E has upgrade number nothing yet. Install permanently. You're going to go to rock number two over here. Yeah, that's the problem with these ships. They run very, very heavy. They don't have enough energy generation. Just install that permanently and get a bit more energy generated. She also does not have a reconstruction token anymore. Oh, no. 
Uh, and I don't have any blank ones either. That's going to make it more complicated. Okay, so now I have five out of eight ships. Back to the seven. Uh, seven, by the way. You still have pilots, right? Yeah, you have plenty of pilots. Let's just tear this wreckage apart. Hmm? Does it not class as a wreckage anymore? Huh, I guess not, because I repaired my ship. But the wreckage is still there. Okay, I still got 5 million. And I still need to build a couple more ships. New ship. Uh, Roadster... Roader. Roadster 2. Build. Safe designs. Where do I have my roadster design? Somewhere far lower. E, F, roadster. Roadster 21, 22. Apply design. Apply upgrade. You're gonna get number six. And ideally, a couple of crew members and a captain. Bit of crew. I think 20 is already quite a lot for a ship like this. Oh, not really. She needs a load of engineers. Nah, it's not really required. So you're going to go to number 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Everybody, out. Defiant, Roadster, Voyager, everybody, out. The only ship staying here is the Seven. Get out, get out, get out. Seven's jumping, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this in the next episode. Because I was not expecting yet another group of Zotan ships. But here they are. And there are quite a few of them. So, as the last bit of this episode, I'll just start tearing through these guys, making sure the sector is once again clean. And before the next episode starts, I'll make sure that I have enough ships in positions from where they can actually make sure that that wormhole gets opened. This is another one of those jump around gentlemen. That was a bit careless. Uh, stop it. I need to, this, could you be still for just a second? No? Great. Oh, these guys are so annoying. Hold still. Hold still. Yeah, now you cannot go any deeper. Now you're on top of my ship. What did you think was going to happen? He's trying it. <laughs> nice attempt. Scrapped another one. Next, another Zotan Corvette. I'm still losing hull integrity. They're once again using some sort of shield penetrating weaponry. So that's pulse cannons, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's this guy. Amongst others, potentially. You. Cut that out. Here's the Savage Jumper again, the Quantum. At least they're not using torpedoes, that's comfortable. <laughs> Dude! Stop taunting! 
Come on. Fine, I'll come back to you in a second. I just need to get this other Corvette out of the way. And that's the jumper. And there are two more Corvettes. They really picked a terrible time. I had almost all ships in position, and then the Zotan jumped in. That really sucked. I thought, yes, this is finally going to happen. And then the Zotan went, uh-huh. Let me introduce you to my plans. Finally, we're through his shields. Quit it. Quit. <laughs> gotcha. That makes you the last guy, I think. Power through him. Ship destroyed. One Zotan left. One more Corvette. And he's all the way over there. Jeez, they really pulled the number on me. Structural integrity is 58%. If you get enough pulse cannons firing at you, you're going to take a lot of hull damage. But that's another way of taking a lot of hull damage. Right, well with that I'm going to end the episode. Again, apologies for being grumpy, but this is just such a grindy part of the game. And on the one hand I want to show it off, on the other hand I don't want to bore you with it. So it's tricky to get right. Anyway, next episode we're going to open up this wormhole and we're going to get these ships in position. We're going to start getting through the barrier. Next episode, join me then.